So, I think I found it. I think I found the worst game of 2023, and it's not even out yet. I'm saying it's the worst based on how much it's going to cost you and how bad it looks. I actually received a phone call from 2010, and they uh, said they wanted their graphics back because this game looks like it should have been released on the 360 and the PS3. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the official release date trailer for Skull Island Rise of Kong. And yeah, this is a real video game that's hitting stores on October 17th, 2023. So uh, let's watch this and we'll have a little chat about it after. And I mean, this looks awful. I, I mean, absolutely dreadful. So Skull Island, 1835. I, I don't even want to hear this. I've watched this trailer and wow. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch it without me talking over the top of it. But I mean, if this sells more than 100 copies, I'll be baffled. So here we go. Look, look at this. Unleash your fury. Look at the state of this. And I'm only saying it for one reason. Conquer Skull Island. Look at the state of it. Ah, just whatever. The fact that this has been developed and people are happy with it. That, that's literally it for the release date trailer. And uh, yeah, so just very quickly, you can see it popping up there. 10, 17, 23. Game Mill Entertainment are publishing. Iguana B are developing. It's coming out on the Switch, the PS5 and 4, Steam. The Xbox, uh, I think it's the Xbox One, the Series X and S. And uh, it's an Unreal Engine game. So uh, I did some digging around because it releases on the 17th of October. That's less than two months away. Can I find it on the Steam store? No. Can I find it on the Xbox storefront? No. This game just doesn't seem to exist. I can only find it on Amazon. I found it on Game Smiths. There's a few different websites that I found it on, but not the official platform storefronts. The ones that I searched anyway. And uh, yeah, their timing is atrocious because this game releases three days before Spider-Man 2. So that's going to like make the sales dip as well. And this Xbox 360 looking game releasing in 2023 is going to set you back £35. And I can guarantee if it didn't have the King Kong brand in and Skull Island, this would only cost you probably six, seven pound. They've massively, massively inflated the price due to the branding and what the game is. The gameplay looks horrible. The graphics look even worse. And not only that, there's a colossal edition that will cost you an extra 10 pound. And the only thing I found on it is that it's said to let you view the origin story through a variety of film grain filters. So you're paying an extra tenner to get some filters on the origin story. That's what it seems like anyway. And to add to this, the developers have nothing good in their history whatsoever. I searched them up, Iguana B. Their best game is a game called What Lies in the Multiverse. It released in March 22. And on Steam, overall, it has 320 reviews. That's in over a year. But they have released some other titles. They released a game called Head Snatchers. So What Lies in the Multiverse is a puzzle platformer. Head Snatchers... Oh, wait, hold up. Let me do the prices as well. What Lies in the Multiverse, £12.80. So 13 quid. Head Snatchers is, a, again, a £13 game. It's had 87 reviews and it came out in 2019. Monster Bag, I can't find anything about it besides it released in April 2015. It's a puzzle stealth video game and it released only on the PS Vita. Then they released or they co-developed G.I. Joe Operation Blackout, which has 60 reviews on Steam, came out at the end of 2020 in December. And uh, yeah, with those 60 reviews, it's got 55%. And then they also developed Little League World Series Baseball. So G.I. Joe Operation Blackout is a £25 game. Monster Bag, I've got no idea. And the Little League World Series Baseball 22 is a £33, so like a $40 game. It released in August 22. It's had 16 reviews and it's 18% positive. The game absolutely sucked. So with mainly small titles, 
and every single game they've worked on being from a different genre, they've then gone, oh, we're going to release a King Kong-based video game. Because you've got G.I. Joe as a third-person shooter, you've got a sports baseball game, you've got a stealth game, you've got a party game, and you've got a puzzle platformer. So you now have the whatever Rise of Kong's going to be, Skull Island. And when it comes to talking about the game, it says on like the description about the product on Amazon, experience the origins of the orphaned Kong as he metamorphosizes from a young Kong to the fully mature King of Skull Island. Unleash the combat fury of Kong to deal devastating combos to dominate the ferocious minions of gore and tactically unleash rage modes to uh, heighten the impact of your attacks against the island's gargantuan subterranean denizens. Send your enemies running for the hills as you unleash Kong's spine-tingling roar and deliver their final coup de grace, or however you say that, through unique finishing attacks. Discover the mythos of Skull Island as you unearth collectibles, unlock mysterious areas of the island, and learn about the history of the islanders, the exotic flora and fauna, and the rich history of the Kongs. Ascend Kong to new heights through special events and a variety of boss fights to unlock his full combat potential. And, uh, yeah, when you, uh, you get a section on Amazon frequently bought together, this is bundled up with uh, DreamWorks All-Star Kart Racing. So I don't know what this game's supposed to be, what it's going to be like, but it looks like absolute shit. They're charging 35 quid, and they have the nerve to release a bigger edition that gives you film grain filters. The history of the developers and the, their game releases are awful, but not only that, it's less than two months until the release and it's not on official storefronts. I can't find out actual official info because it doesn't exist on the storefronts. And this video that I've showcased, the official release date trailer, is from IGN. But yeah, I believe this is coming out on pretty much every platform they can chuck it on. It's even coming out on the Switch and it's going to be 35 quid on there as well. I honestly think... Like, a lot of people complained about Redfall and it being an empty world, it looks bad, it plays bad, it's got really bad, like, network problems and things like that, the frame rate sucks, and everything the players moaned about with Redfall. Then you had Gollum, which was, in general, just an absolute disaster, and this game looks even worse. When you think of games in a similar sort of price range, you've got Skull Island Rise of Kong, which looks like it belongs back in 2010, and uh yeah you've got a game called remnant 2 that was uh like seven pound more or something and it was developed on unreal engine 5 had hours and hours worth of gameplay it was a load of fun looked good so, so yeah this uh skull island rise of kong looks absolutely awful honestly if they get more than 100 sales on this game I will be completely baffled, especially because they're releasing it three days before Spider-Man 2. I think this game is, it's not even dead on arrival, it's DBA, dead before arrival. I can't believe the company's publishing this and I, I can't believe the developers. Let's get some license in to talk about King Kong and slap a huge price tag on a game that looks and probably plays like shit. Did you see the attack moves from Kong? And I don't care if it's an origin story. If I wanted an origin story, I'd go watch the movies. This is giving me strong, strong Fast and Furious Crossroads vibes. Where Vin Diesel got memed into oblivion. But in fact, I think this one's probably going to be even worse. So I'm, I'm putting the Skull Island Rise of Kong down as the worst game of 2023. About six weeks before it even releases. Honestly, what an absolute shambles of a release date trailer. It's nothing but a disgusting looking game. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.